Greetings, wonderful well beings. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Key, coming at y'all live and direct. Okay, didn't even get dressed. Uh, got the scarf on. <laughs> but I just really felt inspired to make this video. I didn't care how I came. Look, I'm coming how I come. Come as you are. Okay. Um, so I wanted to talk about Libra season right now. We're in Libra season, you know, and I'm feeling the vibes. I'm feeling, I'm feeling the, I'm feeling the vibes. Okay. And plus it's Mercury retrograde. I'm, I'm just feeling all of it. It's all coming in and it's coming in hot. And um, yeah, so I actually have made like a little Instagram live about Libra season. Well, kind of about the Libra energies and which is Libra is like one of the fewest actual signs that I actually research a lot because I'm into like astrology and I've got around to like mostly all the other signs researching a lot about the other ones. But Libra is actually one of the signs that I haven't studied that much. So um, this is a great time too. And just um, the, the energies that it's been bringing me are, um, especially with Mercury retrograde, which is more going internal, internal communication and, you know, just reconfiguring things but um but my live was more about uh just looking at your relationships with others and finding what empowers you because you know I talk about self a lot and within and everything is within which yes we're gonna get to that but um but the live was just about like what empowers you and your relationships like if you really want to have healthy functional relationships with, with others like what is some like what is that number one thing that you need like you need that empowers you and for me I found that mine was respect that's what it, really what I need like in relationships because it's all about just me respecting them and them respecting me, respecting our views on life, re respecting how we operate in life, you know, not trying to control people or tell them what to do, but just respecting their decision. Let them live, let them make their own decisions and choices, let them perceive life how they want to perceive it and think how they want to think. Like just respecting other people's individuality pretty much is what I came to my conclusion is that's the one for me like you know everybody has to you know figure out what that is and their relationships that really empowers them with uh, other people's and what makes them feel good and in relationships with others um but <laughs> this video is more about um I actually just watched a reading um <laughs> a Scorpio reading um and it's crazy because <laughs> so anyway uh basically she was saying in the reading how uh you know Libra energy is about balance and harmony and um yeah it is like with others because Libra is about partnerships but also you know finding that balance and harmony within yourself within your own energies you know and um in the video she was saying like how you know think about your addictions this is one that has been coming up for me lately um <laughs> just past week like addictions and actually um I have really been not eating that much lately because i know that's one of mine y'all already know if y'all been here on my channel i talk about my food addictions a lot and this like since you know this season has came i actually have lost my appetite and i actually was researching a little bit and then i found out um like i was just researching and looking up hibernation and what and what the animals go through i just wanted to know like what is really hibernation and like hibernation is more of a thing that happens with within animals body like they're their uh, metabolism slows down, their heart rate slows down, like their bodily functions start to slow down. It's a natural thing that occurs within their body. They can't help it during like when the hibernation season starts. And I, and I started to feel like, well, if that happens with animals during the cold, cold season, it's like, that makes sense. Like, I don't know. I just feel like around this time of the year, my, I lose my appetite. And in the past, I would continue eating heavy, especially this time of the year when it starts getting cold, people are in the house more, emotions start to come up more. And, and, and that's when I go to food to, you know, to ease my emotions. I usually go to food for that. And in the past, I would just continue to eat heavy during these, you know, this season, this, the cold, the change coming. And, and I would eventually get sick because um because my body and my internal like the season is everything is already slowing down and then for me to keep eating heavy my digestive system is not working as hard as it it, it was like so now I'm giving it too much work so 
I'm just learning every year to listen to my body more. Every year is like something new. I'm learning something new. And this year is like, I don't feel, I feel like I've lost my appetite. Like only, I'm not, I've only been eating like once a day. I lost like eight pounds and that is just natural. I'm not even trying. Like, I'm like, I just been doing it naturally. Like just not trying to force myself to eat and just listening to my body and allowing it to relax, allowing it to rest and, and relax and, um, just go with its natural flow. So, um, yeah, so, but with, with, um, back to the video, <laughs> um, she was saying like balance, balancing like, uh, like the addictions. Like I was saying, like food is one of mine. Also, I, I'm just aware that, you know, sex has been one of mine and just not even sex, but, um, maybe like, emotional comfort sometimes like with somebody you know and i just learned <laughs> i just been learning that and like even like smoking when i i don't really have that attachment to smoking anymore but like when i did like i remember those feelings and when they come back up it's like triggering because i remember them like you ever like didn't have nothing to smoke on and then you like fiending for you like what's that and you know the plug you like you calling people and you like fiending it's like that's when you know like yo you're addicted first of all and um it not even not even just weed like sex or you know you a guy or a girl and you you want something and that person ain't answering and you like oh you know like being in you feel that energy of like you need something and i've been feeling these energies lately and i and i feel like i have to go within like it, those energies, I don't like, they're uncomfortable. It made me feel so needy. Like I need something outside of myself. And so, so it makes me real like, um, agitated, like, and there's not, and I know now that there's nothing outside of myself that's going to fulfill those needs. And I need to come back within and, um, just really reflect on really it is really what it is that I need, you know, within myself. So in the video, she was just basically talking about like, this is a good time to like spread your, spread your, spread your value, spread your love. Like, like basically like not going to one thing to fill your cup, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and sometimes I know, and sometimes like I, I, for, I just forget, but this is this season and this re retrograde is making me remember like there's so many things that I love. There's so many activities that I love to do. And she just sparked it in me when, when I was reading this, when I was watching this reading, like, um, cause she was like, what is this? What is something that maybe you was, you didn't get as a kid that now you got it as an adult and now you cling to it. And now it's your everything you're attached to it. And, and you feel you're basically addicted to it. And you feel like that is your love. Like I need this, like, and it made me start thinking, because some for some people that could be external or internal. Maybe it's money. You didn't have money as a, a, a kid growing up, and so now you know you need like you're clinging to money. It's so like it's you're attached to it. It's like it was. It's what make you happy, and nothing else makes you happy but money. You know type thing. But for me, it's more emotional thing. <laughs> you know, I'm a more emotional person. My needs, uh, for me, I feel are more emotional. And I actually had posted this yesterday on Instagram, which before I watched the reading just now, I had posted on Instagram yesterday. Uh, it was like a little uh, Instagram post that said people who are addicted to, who are obsessed, not a, a, <laughs> obsessed, AKA addicted, but it said people who are obsessed with astrology, uh, psychology and personality types are people that were never understood at home. And so it sparked when she said that it was like, for me, it's not an external thing. It's an internal thing. I really felt like I, I needed like emotional, like validation and, and, and to be seen emotionally and like just to be, um, just a more emotional connection when I was, when I was younger and to be understood, you know? And so now what I do most of my time is what I feel is my, what I, my go-to above food, above sex, above everything is like knowledge about knowledge of self. I spend so many hours, I've said this so many times, I spend so many hours researching and trying to learn about self. And 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 I've just realized it's kind of an addiction. I like I go to it every time. 
like for a sense of comfort i go to knowledge i go seeking like about self and i and i and i and in my mind i thought maybe that's the healthy thing because i never thought of that that could be unhealthy i'm like i'm just learning about self you know i'm just getting to know me like this is this is what i need to be doing like everybody else trying to seek the wrong things outside of themselves and i'm doing the right thing seeking the internal you feel me like <laughs> thinking that i'm like on track but it, it really made me think like nah that's an addiction too being too internal being too all about self being too you know uh attached to this one thing and now for me like just learning self and understanding self and finding out more knowledge about self and you know um and it, it it's become an addiction and um basically in the video she was saying it's like we have to fill our cup with other things like like i just said i love so many things so and, and work has been I, I feel like i've just been like it's just been a lot for me kind of stressful but i'm try, I, like i stay trying to find a positive in things like yeah even though you know these negative aspects about it i have to look at the positive like i'm I, i'm able to give my light to spread my light to have you know a sense of social connection at work you know and i'm getting money i'm making bills i mean you know paying bills to take care of myself and um it's just been making me like the past week of just i feel like i've been putting a lot of energy into work and when i come home all i want to do is go to my safety zone my what makes me feel at peace and at comfort and that is research that is knowledge that is scrolling being on the phone looking up whatever i want to look up like just learning new things and and, and giving me a, a sense of validation you know that's that's what i do and that's it has it has shined a light this month on i need to you know um balance and i need to learn how to fill my cup up with different things it's exactly what she said in the video fill your cup up with different things different activities not just one like not just need not even one person you know and <laughs> that's one thing that i've definitely i felt like i've overcame you did i felt like i was good like i'm not even like tripping on like trying to be obsessed and manipulate like over one person but that feeling had came up again recently like on some weird shit but it was like i felt that neediness and i'm like i know that ain't it that ain't it i don't want to be attached to anybody i don't want to feel like you know i don't want to feel that sense of attachment and that's when i feel like i need to uh fill my cup up with other things things that i love i need to uh, not just be putting all my attention and focus on researching learning and knowledge and you know just fill my cup up with different things that i love um my you know just all about wellness physical things mental things emotional things spiritual things um financial things just filling my cup up with different with different things you know uh different social interactions different different new experiences uh, or or even or even the same stuff just not putting too much attention into one thing so just uh so just finding that harmony and balance with my own energies and um not being too obsessive <laughs> obsessive and you know that's the scorpio energy scorpio traits just being so obsessed we ain't there yet you know that's next month well, the end of this month uh it's gonna be scorpio season so we in we in libra season so all about balance and har harmonizing those energies which i think is the way to live period like <laughs> all the time which is um but they're seasons it's seasons for everything so and i just feel like this season is definitely a season that's just telling me that i need to um not be attached to anything um and, and moderation have moderation not be overdoing any one thing um like even just i had like a little i felt like i wanted to drink like and i don't be, be drinking like that anyway so i'm really moderate with that anyway but i was like you know sometimes when i drink like i feel like i want to drink i i want to get you know i want to feel it get tipsy get nice you know i'm drinking a whole bottle but uh just like i was like nah i'm i'm gonna just i'm gonna just sip give me a little glass of wine and sip you know and not have to overdo anything not have to be obsessed or addicted to anything i have to be smoking every day and i have to be 
you know, eating luxury meals every day, not having to be having sex every day, like just moderation and filling my cup with different things and um, healthy things. <laughs> Hopefully, you know, even if it's not healthy, you know, like, you know, say sex or uh, food or whatever, uh, just having moderation, you know, treat yourself, just don't overdo it, you know, because you, usually the overdoing it is more of an emotional thing. It's more of um, emotions leading those things uh, to have certain addictions and to um, over consume different substances or different activities um so yeah that's just one thing I, that i learned i just wanted to shine a light on that sometimes it ain't external things sometimes it ain't even money because everybody have different values so so for me mine was definitely an internal thing like i'm addicted to something that is actually i thought was beneficial for me but it's actually like kind of detrimental if i'm putting all my energy and focus into it all the time and not spreading my love and spreading my joy with between all of my loves and all of the great beautiful things there is to do and experience in life and um just not just 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 being mindful of that you know so that's all guys y'all let me know in the comments what you think you know if you feel any way y'all let with this mercury mercury retrograde and libra season what y'all feeling these energies coming in you did um but yeah a new moon and libra coming soon you did so we all good just moderation and balance you did um thank you guys for watching you already know we winning wellness put your crowns on and keep your crowns on because we winning you did you guys take care peace